Hey YouTube, so here we are. This is Vlogmas Day 3. Um, yeah, Vlogmas Day 3. It's really early. I'm really tired. So, um, I'm gonna get ready and wash my face and whatnot and the usual stuff. So, I wash my face with, um, now it's all squished up because I'm like almost finished, but. It's Herb Day 365 Cleansing Foam by The Face Shop. This is lemon. I also have aloe. I know it's like a cherry one. The aloe one's in the shower. The cherry one I finished, so I'm using the lemon one now for out here. I really like this stuff. It's like one of my favorite face washes. It's really nice on the face. So then I apply toner. My toner is Time Revolution by Misha. That I use. Also cream. Cream face products are the bomb. Like before I went to Korea and started using these products, like I used to have so many bad breakouts. Like so many. Nothing American worked for my skin. I went there, and all of a sudden, my skin is fabulous. I have no pimples or anything. It's pretty nice. Like, I do have some redness right here right now because I was drinking soda, like, back ago. But besides that, it actually keeps it to a minimal where it's just, like, red. Before, like, I'd have, like, these really huge pimples, and it's so bad. But I love it because it's minimized my need to use foundation, which I'm very lazy, and I don't always like doing my makeup, which is funny because once upon a time, I never left the house without doing my makeup. But now I'm just really lazy. So, yeah. Anyway, after that, I add the Royal Honey Essential Clean Serum by Skin Food. Just like a dollop of that. So I'm currently using the Tan Tan Lentil Bee Moisture Cream. I don't usually use this one. I'm using it because I bought it in Korea and I wanted to finish it before buying something else. But usually I use Nature Republic. They have like a watery cream. It's from this line here. And they have like a lotion. It's like a, they call it a watery cream. And I usually use that. But this I'm finishing as you can see. I'm going to be done. Maybe in another month or two. <laughs> it takes a while for me to finish these products, but anyway, I'm just trying to finish it up. It's not a bad product though. I like it. It's just, um, sometimes I feel like it's a little too sticky and heavy for Florida. I bought it for when I was in Korea for during the winter time because it's um, a lot heavier for my face and it keeps it from drying out, but it's a little too heavy for Florida. And, um, we don't have winter here, so it's not like I ever get to use it, so I've just been using it anyway. And then I'm just going to pick out my hair just a little bit. Anyway, I have decided that I'm growing my hair back out, so I won't be cutting it anymore. We'll see how that goes. So last night I fell asleep watching Adventure Time. That was one of my favorite shows. It's a great show. Check out my Christmas tree. <laughs> it's actually a donut shrine. It's a shrine to the donut gods of all greatness of the chocolate frosted with sprinkled donuts. And if you didn't know, that's my favorite donut. Um, my student that I teach English and um, computers I kind of just like help her out. She's an older woman um, and she's not very good in English and she just wants help, you know, to learn and whatnot. So I agreed. And it's really funny because I went over to her studio um, to help her and she had this in there. And I was just like, oh, this is really pretty. I like it. And next thing you know, it, it's mine. So here it is. She just gave it to me, and I thought that was really nice of her. Let me move my chair. 
And I thought that was really nice of her. And it has like really pretty motifs on it and whatnot. It reminds me of like the stuff you would see in the museums, which was pretty awesome because like this is the type of thing that I would like look at when in Korea and stuff like that. It's really pretty and I don't know if it's expensive or not. It looks expensive and she said she's paid a lot for it, so I don't know. She just decided to give it to me. I guess she was very grateful and I'm very grateful because I love it and I think it's so pretty. I had to move the mannequin to over here. Um, last night I worked more on the apron, obviously so, because yesterday it didn't have a waistband <laughs> and it also didn't have the ties for the back of it. These are the back ties for you to tie it around her waist. Yeah, that's the apron for now. And in my garden from up above. <laughs> you know what's really funny? Is that like, look at my neighbor's yards. They're all empty. My neighbor's yards are empty. But like mine, <laughs> it's a jungle. Wait till I'm finished with it, it'll be even worse. Alright, so I figured since I was showing you this that I would just show my room because I don't think I've ever done that since I moved. So yeah, here it is. So, this is my screen banging. One of my bookshelves. <laughs> I have a lot of books. All these at the bottom are history books and language books and then like the rest are other things and whatnot. I like classics, so like, I have like some classic books here, and of course. I really loved reading Practical Magic, it's one of my favorites to read. It's like one of my favorite movies, and it was one of my favorites to read, so yeah, it worked out. And then of course, I have my comic books, I love, 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 my comic novels. And then I have some like, you know, little kids books here, because I'm a kid. Anyway. That's my bouquet from when I got married in this jar that I made. Um, that jar actually, um, the pattern on that jar is special. It's um, from my dad's shirt. It was like his favorite shirt that he always wore and I kept a piece of it after he died. So I made like, you know, I had like all my ceramics have like a kind of theme to it and like all the ones that I made that semester kind of had to do with like my heritage and stuff like that because I was thinking about them so yeah. This is the bouquet for my best friend's wedding <laughs> because I'm sentimental and I keep things. Also if you haven't figured it out by now I'm obsessed with GOT7, right? Like obsessed. It's like my favorite Korean boy band and who am I obsessed with the most you might ask? Jackson Wang. Yes, I am. And I have their Hard Carry album here. I have to buy their newest album. I haven't gotten around to it yet. But, um, yeah. So, here's my snake plant. And we have our TV stand here, which is two giant L's, L book chases. And we actually had to do this to keep Pluto from jumping in here and like messing with the cords. It's crazy because he's just a psychopath. Xboxes, memory boxes. We have these two paintings that me and Jackie did. This one is my painting, right? And this one is his painting. But guess which one's better? Yeah, you guessed it, mine. Anyway and his collection of shot glasses from like the different places he's been, other places his sister's been, stuff like that. And that's my Beanie Baby. <laughs> I've had that Beanie Baby for a very long time. My mom gave it to me when I graduated, I think, in like 2000. And, uh, I don't know, I think I graduated elementary school or something like that when she gave it to me. It was a really long time ago. And here is my other bookcase with these classics I have here. Yes, we have three copies of the Bible. One is mine, two are his. Yes, I have read the Bible back to front a couple times. And here's Kimberly! And more Got Seven. And Card Wars. 
I love Card Wars. Me and Jackie have to play it. We haven't played it in a really long time, but I absolutely love Card Wars. I'm such a nerd. And I have like little things here and gifts that people gave to me. I got these when I was in Korea and this was a wedding gift. And my little cats because my friends know that I love cats so they get me things cat-like. <laughs> that was a wedding topper for my cake. Yeah. Speaking of like sentimentalness, right? This bottle of Captain Morgan, I swear my best friend gave it to me like was I 21? I think I turned 21 when she gave it to me. This is an unopened bottle from that time period, which is really funny. So, yeah. I've had it for that long. And that's my softball mitt from when I played softball. Anyway. So then, as we continue, I have my Shinshan doll, complete with Mr. Elephant. Right? And, um all of the stuffed animals that my husband has ever gotten for me in the course of our seven year relationship. Minus these two. I made this my poop pillow <laughs> and I got this one when I was in Korea. And this is his Halloween's mask. He's all creepy for Halloween all the time. And my graduation cap. Five schools, seven majors, nine years later. My mom made this for me. She cross stitched it. I've had it for like a really long time. And of course, one of my drawings from Attack on Titan. Another stuffed animal he got me. Jewelry. I have like a shit ton of earrings. A lot of which I get from a special Etsy shop that I will mention later. Uh, me, my little nephew. Look at him. It's my guy, baby. He's so cute. More Shin Shan. Um, Babe's weight set, the iron and ironing board that I use to press the things that I sew. I never iron my own clothes, but I actually iron these things, which can be annoying. And this is my uh, other bookshelf of just like randomness. It's kind of a mess from this part down, but whatever. And this is my desk. This is where I sew. And that's my Louise hat. And these are my brother and sister's masks. <laughs> that I've had since they were like in elementary school or maybe middle school, I don't know. I have it for a really long time. And some drawings I did. And my degree. Yeah. And all my sewing shit. This is legitimately a box of patterns. It is a whole box of patterns. Yes, I have that many patterns. Anyway, so that's the room. Little panorama. Right. These are Ciroc's toys. He will move them in here, so I have no choice but to keep them there. And my dream catcher. Of course, I have lights because I'm just one of those girls. <laughs> and we have a vision board. Like, what person is complete without a vision board, right? Anyway. So that's it for my room tour. Very, uh... You know, short, quick, to the point. So, yeah. I'm gonna spin around, spin around, spin around. Okay. So, here's my stalker. He's just waiting. He's waiting for me. Hot chocolate for marshmallow lovers because I love marshmallow attention. He wants love. Who's gonna give it to him? Is it Jessica? Is Jessica gonna give him love? It doesn't matter. He's gonna take it. He's gonna take the love. <laughs> what is he doing to you? <laughs> I told you he's gonna take the love. <laughs> so it's my mom's company's dinner tonight. 
and I have to pick out something to wear and get ready. So this is what I decided. I decided on this dress here that I have. I've had it for a while. Plus these boots because it's predicted to rain. It's like 50-50. And it's Florida. And in Florida, you don't take chances with rain. So I'm just going to wear my boots so my feet don't get wet because if there's anything I hate is wet feet. And uh, this dress is really low cut, which I don't always like. So sometimes I pair it with something else and so I'm pairing it with the black bandeau to wear under it. So I have to do my makeup, which I don't always do, but I'm doing today. Um, nothing crazy. It'll probably just be a little bit of eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara. Go with a waterproof mascara since it might be raining. Anyway, this is my absolute favorite, 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 favorite mascara. It's from Misha. Uh, yeah, Misha. And um, it's like super extreme power proof mascara. Okay, it's just waterproof. And I love this mascara. It's like my absolute, absolute favorite mascara that I've ever owned. So, speaking of earrings. I have this nice collection here. I'm going to wear these because they're kitties and they're blue. I love them. I'm like one of my favorite earrings that I own. Um, I actually got these from a boutique on um, Etsy. It's called Hybrid Boutique. So I got these and these cute little mushrooms and these peppermints. Also these Hello Kitties too, uh, and these Christmas bells. Actually, I might wear the Christmas bells since it's a Christmas party. So for my makeup, I will be using a combination of Naked Basics plus a Renegade Naked Smokey along with the Sephora eyeliner and my Misha um, mascara. Um, the basics. I need a new one of these because I use this so much. The basics, the only thing I use in here is this black eyeshadow, which is really funny. Um, I use it to do my eyebrows and also it's as my eyeliner. I really should get another one because it's almost done. Okay, then I just finished my makeup and now it's time for me to go pick my husband up from work. Yay! Excited. I miss him. <laughs> I'm such a nerd, I know. I'm about to make kimchi fried rice. Um, I have oil in this pan heating up. I'm going to get the brown rice. Now it's a bit peas and such. Of course, it's sesame oil. I don't have kimchi, so I'm using this because I just put a taco in it. And the kimchi, of course. Is my hair. That was awful. You didn't deserve that. That's why I just show it and we'll get out of the face. Thank you. Thank you. I also like your blue hair. Thank you. Enjoy. Bye.
So I am back home. That's it for my night. I am obviously as you can probably see from my facial expression that I'm a little gone. But anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow.